Night Mail by W. H. Auden. This is the night mail crossing the border, bringing the check and the postal order. Letters for the rich, letters for the poor, the shop at the corner, the girl next door. Pulling up Bitok, a steady climb, the gradient against her, but she is on time. Past cotton grass and moorland boulder, shoveling white steam over her shoulder. Snorting noisily, she passes silent miles of wind band grasses. Birds turn their heads as she approaches, stare from bushes at her blank faced coaches. Sheepdogs cannot turn her course, they slumber on with paws across. In the farm, she passes, no one wakes, but a jug in a bedroom gently shakes. Down freshens, her climb is done, dawn towards glass glossy descends. Towards the steam tugs, helping down a glade of cranes, towards the field of apparatus, the furnace sat on the dark plain like giant chessmen. All Scotland waits for her in dark glens beside pale green locks. Men long for news. Letters of thanks, letters from banks, letters of joy from girl and boy. Recepted bills and invitations to inspect new Scott or to visit relations and applications for situations and timid lovers' declarations and gossip, gossip from all the nations, news circumstantials, news financial, Letters with holiday snaps to enlarge in letters with faces scrolled on the margin. Letters from uncles, cousins and aunts. Letters to Scotland from the south of France. Letters of condolence of highlands and lowlands. Written on paper of every who. The pink, the violet, the white and the blue. The chatty, the catty, the boring, the adoring. The cold and official and the harsh outpouring. Clevers to be short and long, the typed and the printed and the spelled all wrong. Thousands are still asleep, dreaming of terrifying monster or friendly tea beside the band in cranstones or crow or crow folds. Asleep in working glass glue, asleep in well set Edinburgh. Asleep in granite, a burden, they continue their dreams. But shall wake soon and hope for letters, and none will hear the postman's knock without a quickening of heart, for who can bear to feel himself forgotten? Thank you for watching.